Today, I want to tell you the most important and amazing thing you will ever hear. God first loved us. Yes, God first loved me. He first loved you. Isn't it wonderful to know this truth that we are loved? What is also amazing is that God chose us before the foundation of the world to be holy, that is, to be like God, to be filled with His life and His grace. In the book of Genesis, we learn how God created the sun, the moon, the stars, the land, oceans, the vegetation, the trees and plants, birds, and fish, and all living things. And when he had made these things, God said, It is good. Then God did something new and amazing. God created man the first man and the first woman. He said, let us make man after our image and our likeness. When God was done, he said, it is very good. Yes, you and me, we are created in God's image and likeness. This means that we have the ability to know and love God, to be his friends, God gave us this ability to know Him and to freely love Him and to choose what is good. God gave us these gifts because He didn't want to force us to love Him. It is always better to love and to act freely as opposed to being forced. Because of these gifts, we are different from all other living things God created. We are higher than everything else God created. Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden that God had made for them, and they enjoyed a very close friendship with God. They walked and talked with God in friendship. They shared his life. Man alone was created for his own sake. All the other things that God created were for us. The animals, the plants, the flowers, the beautiful scenery and nature, all of these good things were God's gifts to us. But man is created for his own sake. The purpose of our life is to share God's life. That means to be holy, to be filled with God's life, his grace, to live as his friends. This gift of God's very life is called sanctifying grace. And this was God's greatest gift to Adam and Eve. Because of their special friendship with God, Adam and Eve also enjoyed many other gifts in the Garden of Eden. There was no sickness and no death there. Adam and Eve were never sad or unhappy. They also got along with each other. They respected each other and were happy in the garden. They weren't afraid of the animals either, like you or I might be afraid of dogs. They could even pet the lions and the bears. All the animals were friendly towards Adam and Eve. Even at nighttime, they were not afraid. In Eden, there was peace, order, harmony, and happiness. This was how God intended the world to be. He made us to be in harmony with Him, with each other, with ourselves, and with creation. He made us to be happy as his dear friends.